Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Den. Well, if you watched last week's video, you'd have seen me uh, producing these uh, new cage feeders on my 3D printer. And the difference between these and normal ones is that you make them as the, the body of the feeder and then you slide in one of these uh, sleds, as I'm calling them, with the weight attached. And of course I can have anything from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 grams attached to it. And today I'm just going to put this 20 gram one on because I'm practicing for the uh, feeder festival, uh, which is on this weekend. And so the feeder itself weighs 20 grams. This sled weighs 20 grams too, so it's an overall 40 grams. Put it in, slide it down, and then just push the button in and it's locked. And that's not going anywhere. If I want to take it out, I've got this little extractor. So I just push that in, whoops, finger's not working. Push that in, extract it, grab a different weight, let's say a 10 or a 30 gram, put that in, and we're back and we're fishing again with a bigger weight. As you can see, this is a huge lake that I'm fishing here. And you know, this is a really, really big feeder. I've made, as you saw, the, uh, this is the 2XL, 1XL, and just, XL, extra large. A lot bigger than normal sort of uh, feeders because the carp in here are ravenous and they need plenty of bait. So that's how it works. And I won't put any bait on yet, but I've got to uh, get some bait out anyway onto the, the swim. So I'm going to put this in, just get a bit of feed, put that in like that. Now I have cast out already. I know where I'm going to be fishing to, and it's about 47 meters or so. So if I pick myself that marker on the far bank and there we go it's a reasonable depth out there so it's going to take a few seconds to sink but basically works well, exactly the same as any normal feeder it just means you're just changing the uh, the sliding cage sorry the sliding sled part which saves an awful lot of space in your uh, tackle box so if i now just strike this off bring it in and repeat the process. As you see, I think you can see it out there, because it's a cage feeder, which is plastic, it rises to the surface very well. And I know in this venue, we sometimes get some sort of strandy weeds coming up from the bottom, so that actually helps as well. So really, that's it guys. That's how it works. And of course, if I want to change it, I'll just unclip the swivel and clip a new um, feeder on. So, Hope you enjoyed that one. As I say, it was a really quick one just to explain where we're at. Um, I'm now going to carry on for the practice, um, but in a week or so's time, you'll be getting the, the match, hopefully, if I did any good at all. If I blanked, you won't be getting a video, but hey, it's fishing and I'm out here to enjoy myself. So I'm going to carry on and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.